Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. place to set up house, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get. Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. 
I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on! Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit.
Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just Louise, Well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting, it's just. What? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Uh, sure. Help yourself. Oh. oh. Son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. <laughs> you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, Ray, you can pay. You know that? Where are you hiding, little chick? Oh, ah! I... Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? Come on. <laughs> Hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. Now you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> 